That folks is Ron with Ideal. In this video, I'd like to talk about what the range, resolution, display count, and what the accuracy is of this new line of digital multimeters here from Ideal. This is the 61-357 True RMS Auto Ranging Digital Multimeter with a low Z function. This is the 61-347 uh, True RMS Auto Ranging Digital Multimeter. Both these have what are called 6,000 count displays, and we'll talk about that in a moment. And then this is the 61-337 uh, Auto Ranging Digital Multimeter, and this is the 61-327 Manual Ranging Digital Multimeter. Now, as far as the voltage range is concerned, right on the inputs, it'll tell you that the tester is uh, capable of being used in to CAT3 testing environments up to 600 volts. So the voltage range on these two is 600 volts, while these two have a dual rating, and in CAT3 testing environments can be used up to 1,000 volts, and in CAT4 testing environments can be used up to 600 volts. Now, if you look at display on all four of these testers, you'll see that there's only two digits of resolution past the decimal point on this one. So the uh, limitation is down to a hundredth of a volt, where these three testers have MV in the display, and they're reading about 267 uh, millivolts, and they also have an extra digit of resolution past that. Now, the 4,000 count displays, what that means is the tester's uh, resolution will change uh, at 400 millivolts, 4 volts, uh, 40 volts, and 400 volts, while these 6,000 count displays, their resolution will change at 600 millivolts, 6 volts, 60 volts, and 600 volts. I'm going to try and crank this power supply up just past 400 uh, millivolts. Whoops. And it's a little touchy there for, on me. That's 370. Come on. Okay, there, there you go. And see, so just as we got past 400 millivolts, we got the decimal point moved on us. We're still reading down to millivolts. And since these 6,000 count displays, since we're under 600 volt, uh, millivolts, we're still getting that extra digit of resolution. Now, these two, their uh, resolution will change as we get above uh, 600 millivolts. And there we go. Yeah, I say that. There we go. So now the resolution on these three testers is the same. We're still reading into millivolts, and this tester, again, is still limited to hundredths of a volt. Now, the resolution on these two testers will change again as we get a past four volts. And sure enough, we're down to hundredths of a volt now on both of these displays, while these two, because of the 6,000 count dis uh, displays, will give us resolution to still into millivolts. And then these will change at six volts. And sure enough, the resolution did change, and we're down to hundreds of a volt on all four testers. Now, one nice thing about this new line of digital multimeters from Ideal is that as you get above 30 volts, you'll get a high voltage warning. And the red LED will light up on all the testers. You'll get that audible tone, and you'll also get the lightning bolt in the displays. This is a high voltage warning that if you're in a CAT3 testing environment or a CAT4 testing requirement that would require you to be using uh, personal protective equipment, it's advisable to be, do, to be doing that. And anytime you're working with electrical equipment, uh, following good industry safety guidelines is always a good idea. Now, these two testers, their uh, display resolution will change at 40 volts. And sure enough, we're a little past 40 volts. So I'll take that back. There we go. And you see the resolution is down to a tenth of a, 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 a volt, while these two are still giving us hundreds of a volt. And you notice on this auto ranging tester, since we're past the, the limit of 40 volts, it's giving us OL or over limit in the display. So I'm going to have to move the dial to the next highest setting, which is at 400 volts. And now you'll see the resolution on these two testers is the same down to, the, to a tenth of a volt. And again, these two uh, testers, their resolution will change at 60 volts because of the 6,000 count display. And there we are. We're a little over, just under 63 volts. We're down to a tenth of a volt of resolution on really all four of these testers at this point. Now I'll go ahead and ramp up the uh, power supply up to about 120 volts and let's talk a little bit about the accuracy of these four testers. 
Now, if you read the manuals, you'll notice in the manuals it will say the accuracy of the testers is 1.3% times the voltage it's reading, plus five least significant digits. So if you take 120 volts and multiply it by that 1.3%, you end up getting 1.56 volts. And then we add in the five least significant digits, in this case that's a tenth of a volt, so that's a 0.5 volts, we end up, the accuracy of the testers is 2.06 volts on either side of the 120. So that is the accuracy of these testers at that voltage. Well, I hope that explains a little bit about what the range, resolution, display count, and accuracy is on this new line of digital multimeters from IDEAL. Please read and fully understand in the manuals before actually using them. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Ron with IDEAL. I'll see you on the next one.